Hey y'all, Bridget Bartlett here with My Vision Agency, and today I'm going to show you how you can actually copy information from one high-level sub-account to another high-level sub-account. You have probably seen inside of the workflows the option here to copy contact, but maybe you don't really understand the value of this. So I want to show you a real use case of how this is actually um, valuable to you, okay? Now, first of all, what you want to do is select the option and then you're going to select from your drop down list the accounts that you want or the account that you want to copy uh, the information to. Okay. Then you're going to add whatever tags that you have that you want to be copied. Okay. Or I'm sorry, the, the tags to add to the sub account. And then here you're going to toggle this on if you want to copy all the tags associated with that contact, if you want to copy the custom fields. And then if that contact already exists in the sub account that you're copying that contact data to, then you can decide, do you want to update the contact or maybe create a new one? Totally up to you how you want to structure that. So let me show you why this is so, so cool. Okay. So if you're a member of our program, we have the AI leads system. And with this, we are able to create lists. Uh, for example, this is lawyers in Indianapolis, and the list will uh, create all of the, the lawyers in the area, their address, it will give you all kinds of information about them and all the employees and their contact information and so on. So the way that we can use this, of course, is we want to look for our perfect lead and then we want to click a button. All you need to do is select your contacts. You'll click a button and then you can send this data directly to the CRM. Okay. Now that is awesome. But if you're like me and you've hired a VA to do that search for you, or if you just want to have all of your cold marketing in one account and then all of your actual customers in another account, this is going to be basically the same process. Okay. So inside of this account here, now this is the account that we are pushing the data from the lead system. Okay. Inside of that account, we want to create a system because in this example, I want to know every contact that creates a high level trial that came from that leads account. Okay. So we're running campaigns. We're looking for the perfect customers for a high level trial. And that is what I want to be able to track. Okay. So inside of that account, every time a contact is created, okay, we're not filtering this, we're saying every single contact, I'm actually adding a tag that says Daniel's tag because Daniel is my VA who is doing the lead search. So I have Daniel's lead here, okay? I'm adding that tag to the contact and then I'm also copying that contact to my main account. And I'm adding that Daniel's lead tag because when it does come to my main account, I don't want that to get mixed in with with my other contacts, okay? I want that to be a completely separate um, lead, right? I can even create smart lists for it. I can comp completely segment this entire list of contacts just based off of this tag, okay? Now, do I want to, uh, when Daniel is sending, Daniel's account is sending this to me, do I want to copy all of the tags? Yes, I do. Do I want to copy all the custom fields? Sure. And do I want to update the contact if it already exists? Sure. So I'm going to toggle all of that on. And that's going to be the workflow that now every time he is in that account and he creates a new contact, it's going to copy to my main account. So what what's going to happen on my end, right? It's just going to come in my main account. It's going to be a contact and it's going to have that tag. All right. Now, when a trial is created, this is why we needed to talk both ways. Okay. Now, when a trial is created inside of my account, where all of my automations and all of that is created, it automatically comes into my account. And then we add a GHL trial tag. Okay. So as soon as that tag gets added, now this is just to notify Daniel, this is just for this lead system. Okay. Uh, this is the only automation that takes place when this trial is added or this tag is added. Okay. So what happens is when inside of my account, when this tag is added, it actually goes through this filter. So 
does this tag or this contact have Daniel's lead? Because if it does, then now we want to send it through this, um, this workflow here. If it doesn't, then that's fine. It's just going to go through my normal uh, workflow. But if it does have Daniel's tag, what we want to do is we want to copy it back to that other sub account. Okay. So the, when the contact was initially created, we copied it to the main account. And then now we want to send this contact data back to that original account. And we want it to have this tag. Okay. Now, in this scenario, this leads account doesn't need to have all of my other tags here, and it doesn't need to have all of the custom fields either, but we definitely will want to update the contact if it already exists because it actually should already exist, and we want to update it now with this tag, okay? So now I know in my account every time Daniel a Daniel lead gets a, a, a high level trial created. And then also Daniel's account will be notified, right? So this is how we're getting it to talk to one another. All right. Now, one other thing that I like to do is go ahead and put a note. So I'm going to put a note inside of my account to say, this is Daniel's lead. Okay. So if I, if the tags ever get deleted or we accidentally delete something, this note in the profile will always be there. Okay. Now the next thing, of course, is I want to notify Daniel and I want to say, hey, congratulations, you have a new trial. So it's going to send Daniel, we're using an internal notification and it's going to send him a message. I'm choosing particular user and it's going to um, let him know that he had a new trial added and what the name of the contact and the email is. Now also I want to be notified, right? So in this case, we're going to use particular user me. And then I'm going to say, you know, Daniel has a new uh, high level trial created. Okay. So that's how you can create automations to have the, um, the accounts talk to each other. And then of course, notify. And what this looks like is inside of my account, you'll see here, the contact is created. I did a test. I'm sorry, you know, I'm, I'm live. It's really hard sometimes to do testing because I have to show my inbox and all that stuff, but I did the test here and I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So in my main account, you'll see this Jane Doe, the email address, um, you'll see that it actually has Daniel Lead and GHL trial. Okay. Now, when it first came in, it didn't have GHL trial that got added. Right. And then also the note is in the profile as well. Now in the other account, you'll see we have the contact and all of that same tags and there is no note, right? Because we only added that note in the main account. Okay. You guys, this is so, so super, super helpful, especially when you are doing cold marketing, because it's really important to keep those cold leads separate from your hot leads. And it can be done easily in a, you know, in a sub account, all in one sub account. Uh, you just have to organize it, right? And if you're working with a, a VA and maybe you don't want them to have access to everything in your account, or you just want them to be able to use all the tools for this one project here, like in this situation, then uh, it is so much easier just to have one standalone sub account that you're using for lead gen. And then you are having those two different softwares talking to each other. Okay. Now, um, if you guys do not have a high level account or you are an existing high level member, that lead software that I just showed you and high level, um, it is included in our reseller program. So if you're interested in signing up, um, you're actually going to get a lot of lot of resources, reseller licenses for our AI ads manager and all of that. You can definitely check all of that out here. Um, you can even see the high level bonuses or our reseller program if you're not interested in reselling high level. Um, if you're on the 97 or the 297 plan, uh, go to highlevel.myvisionagency.com forward slash plans, because this is where you're going to access the Cyber Monday specials that are still valid if you're watching this live. Um, what you want to do is if you want the 97 and the 297 plan, it's going to include a free starter plan in my reseller program. Um, you can see all of the benefits here. You can also check out the bonuses as well. But you'll see when you click there, you actually go to the cyber offer, which gives you three months of any of the plans, whether it's starter, unlimited, or pro, it gives you three months at half price. So you're going to get high level at half price. And then you're also going to get my program for free. 
Okay. So when you sign up for my program, you're actually reselling our AI ads manager and you have lots of other um, software and things that you can use as well. In addition with our coaching, but all of that you get for free just for using my affiliate link for high level, which like I said, you're saving 50% for the first three months anyway. How, seriously, how could you set yourself up for success in 2025 any better than that? So the link is in the description. If you guys wanna check it out, you can also go to highlevel.myvisionagency.com forward slash plans. So thank you all so, so much for joining me. And remember after our live coaching session today, like every day, you can join me in the open office hours if you are in our free community or you're a member of our program. You just want to go into the community area. You're going to go to the events tab and today is the third. So you just want to click there, click the Zoom link, and then you can join me in the Zoom in just a couple minutes. Thank you all so, so much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Go make your vision a reality.